we're here with UMass Hockey at the Mullen Center in Amherst. I'm with Scott and Taylor here, and they're going to show us around the facilities today. Welcome to our facility. Let's go check it out. Here's the car all the way in. Score! How's it going, guys? We're in the... Uh, Workout room facility here. It's just connected to the uh, practice rank here at UMass. Lots of lots of banter in here with the guys, fun talks, stuff like that. But when we got to get to work, we get to work. And this is definitely a spot where after practice, guys will mingle, and it's definitely a good spot for team bonding. This is the practice facility. My favorite thing about it is all the pictures lying around of uh, some of the best players during Carvey's time here. Um, I think all of us on the team, it's our goal to be one of those pictures. Probably the most notable one is that one in the corner. Um, where Jake Godat, the captain of the national championship team, is rocking somebody from Notre Dame. Uh, that corner is where we do all our battle drills. It's open pretty much all day for us. Guys can come in the morning before their classes or stay out on the ice after practice for however long you want. So everyone gets work in. All right, so take us through this wall right here. Absolutely, yeah. So we got a bunch of names on this wall here just to remind us of the people who've been here past who put in the work. It's even cooler now for us that we got a couple teammates on the NHL wall and that's always motivating like and cool just seeing guys you played with make it to that level. Obviously, yeah, I'm not too fortunate to have this but I get to see him every single day. I walk in the rank here, just kidding, it's a good thing. Uh, he won the Hobie Baker, that's my brother Kale. It's pretty cool to see a family member on the wall here and I think winning the Hobie, Hobie Baker for this program was a massive uh, step for it and something to get the program out there and. It's not without all the help from coaches and staff like that, which recruited him here and uh, the facilities that he could he couldn't have done it. So uh, it's awesome to see and to be up there on that wall with all these names. Pretty cool for him. The car all the way in. Score! And every single year, I mean, the competition within the Hockey East Conference is just top notch. What's it like playing against all of these other teams? Hockey East is. I, in my opinion, the most competitive conference in the country. The best team in the conference can lose to the worst team in the conference every weekend. So that teaches you to have to play 60 minutes, and there really is no room for error. Does it again. Back to back. What is the culture like being on the actual team and seeing it for yourself? Yeah, I think this program just does a really good job at bringing everyone in their first year. And as being a third year guy, it's new guys come in, you got to make good connection, uh, invite them to stuff, hang out with them all the time, and just, just become one big family. So that really helps the team dynamic. All right, so this is the uh, video room. There's some good or bad days in here for you. Sometimes you got those clips against you that you just don't want to see, and fortunately you're getting a little served a little bit, but. I'm a back row guy. I kind of hide in the weeds back there, but I don't know. I think Taylor's the row in front of me, uh, so he's doing a little better, but um, it's cool to see these graphics too on the wall. Representative of what we strive for as a team. Like, it shows togetherness, like after a big goal, they're all celebrating together and kind of all huddled up together before the game um, at the Frozen Four. Uh, it's a great space and we use it a lot. All right, we've seen the video room, we've seen this gorgeous hallway, now let's see the locker room. Yeah, absolutely, right here. Uh, walking out to both ranks, you got the, the stick rack, here's our weapons. Of choice presented by uh, Josh Penn, our equipment guy. Obviously, we had a tough practice yesterday. That's how you tell yeah, with the I'm tape like that. I'm wearing CCM school, so we're all using CCM stuff. I tape my stick from heel to toe because I'm not a psycho. Yeah, that's just <laughs> weird. If you, ta if you uh, tape toe to heel, you're yeah, just a weirdo. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if we have any guys like that, but. Uh, our freshman class was the first freshman class who got to use this locker room. Um, the renovations got done right before we got here. So as you can see, it's very, very detailed. Um, so we got all the defensemen over here. The goalies are kind of on this end, and then the forwards are kind of mostly over here. So the, we got the power U on the ceiling. That's nice not to have it on the floor like some teams where you have to avoid stepping on it, so we don't really have to worry about that. I think everyone's favorite thing in here, we got a little tape drawer right here. We got a lot of summer stalkers, but I think everyone's favorite yeah, thing is the this. gum. Everyone comes in here, we got to pass an O. Yeah, it's a tough day when the, the gum thing is empty. Yeah, the bucket's probably gone in like three days, but yeah, that's where we keep our tape and everything. Who Lots is usually the DJ in here? That would be me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been I've been like second in command lately. I've been jumping on like once a week. But yeah. T Mac is most days. Well when he's on Oxwell, you should get like a dude, is this you today? <laughs> and I'm like, don't no, worry, it's not. Taylor's more into the rap and the yeah. sometimes the rock. I'll get in the rock too, but yeah. Uh, before games it's definitely Taylor. Don't trust me with dogs. Point of pride for us. We got the Massachusetts around the top, the state of Massachusetts on the wall representing us and who we're playing for. I think everyone just takes pride in this room, having the logo up there seeing how beautiful this room is. Every single day we walk in, we just think of the guys who were here before us that got this for us and 
we're fortunate enough to have this room and it's pretty awesome. It comes back. Bollinger fires, he shoots, he so this right here is our lounge. We got a huge TV. I'd say 99% of the time it's either NHL Network or somebody playing NHL yeah. on the Xbox that's on the TV when we walk in. Yeah, no, it's a great space. Everyone hangs out in here. We have a lot of fun playing video games against each other and stuff. And personally, I'm a big coffee guy, so I, right as I get in the room, I like to pour a cup of joe. It's pretty convenient and we're uh, kind of lucky to have this space. Yeah, so at the back of uh, our kind of hangout area and ping pong area, we got a bunch of recovery chairs. Guys will like Norma Tech on here. I like to spend a lot of time with the massage gun, just hanging out and stuff. When you're waiting for a ride too, when they <laughs> still showering up, changing and stuff like that, guys will just sit here on their phones. So. Yeah, and it's right, obviously right connected to the training room here. Yeah, and here we got uh, one cold tub, a hot tub, and after practices, guys like to use these a lot, get recovered and stuff like that. So we have we have about like eight bods in here all the time. And Scott, you said you're a big cold tub guy? Before the games, yeah. I just kind of do it to shock my body and kind of wake up. I'm weird, my number's 23, so I do it 23 minutes before warm up. Do you go like full head in? No, like, no, dunk? I only go waist down. I, I can't get the upper body in there. Yeah, the guys, the people who go full head is like That's crazy. That's crazy. This hockey arena is gigantic. What is it like when you're walking out here and it's packed with UMass fans on game day? I'd say it's the best feeling ever. The music's pumping, the fans are just cheering as loud as as loud as you can possibly hear and it's, you got to get the jitters out probably as a freshman or sophomore or something like yeah. that but it's a special feeling to score in front of them. Zivlock comes right back to McCarr and he scores! Taylor McCarr! You learn to love it really quick. There's nothing like playing at the Mon Center on a Friday night when it's full. Probably the best atmosphere you could have in college hockey so it's awesome.